Hello, this is Will Gormley, and this is part two of the Barbecue Rig Pattern Pack Holster Construction Tutorial. We're dealing with classic western floral carving today. The first tool used in floral carving is the swivel knife. You'll notice how I lay the blade so more of the cutting edge is in contact with the leather for straight lines and tilt it back for curved lines. When tooling leather, most folks are taught a proper sequence for using each tool. Some of this is engineering, like the swivel knife. The physical knife cuts in the surface of the leather are necessary for every other tool that is used afterwards. While there are practical concepts behind the standard progression of tool use, those are largely based on visual impact. The order of the tools can be altered to change the emphasis and design of the carving. When replicating classic floral carving down through history, the artists didn't conform to uniform rules. So in some cases, to get the classic look of a historical pattern, you have to change it up a bit. For this floral carving, I'm deviating from my normal tool use progression. This delivers a different impact from each tool, best representing this classic floral carving. This carving pattern may have come from a Fraser holster, but I've used it so long and it's been through so many different iterations, I've lost track of where it came from originally. So, if the tool use progression in this tutorial isn't what you're accustomed to, relax. After viewing the tutorial, you can use whatever tools you like, when you want to use them, in, in whatever order you want to use them. And this actually gives the carving your own unique signature. This tutorial, like the pirate code, is more like guidelines. The next tool I use is a half inch beveler on the border of the pattern. This is followed by the 8th inch beveler. Next is the quarter inch pear shader followed by the 8th inch pear shader. I follow that with a 3 8 camouflage tool. Then I use a series of veiner tools from half inch, 5 8 3 quarters, up to an inch and 3 8 But more important than the span of the veiner is the curve of the veiner. Select a veiner to match the curves in the carving the veiner is being used to highlight. In many historical floral carvings, what I call a wavy veiner is used. Mine has a three-quarter inch span, but it was always too sharp and it was easy to cut too deeply into the leather. After about 20 years, I realized I could file down the edge so that it was flat and I wouldn't have that problem anymore. Now I love my wavy veiner. This is followed by the cedars. I use a larger, more decorative cedar to accent different areas of the floral carving. I use the smaller cedar at an angle to make the impression of seedlings nestled in the center of the flower. Next tool, the stop. Enough said. What makes the stop significant is the tool that follows it, the mule foot. Why it's called a mule foot rather than a mule hoof is beyond me. I English is hard. But the goal in using the mule foot 
is to make each succeeding impression lighter than the last so it seems to naturally fade out. Decorative cuts with a swivel knife can make or break your floral carving. They are about the hardest skill to master. It's worth practicing this skill on a scrap of leather before committing to a project. With close to 50 years in leather work, 20 of which it seems I didn't know how to put a proper edge on a swivel knife, every time I go to make my decorative cuts, I still just hope for the best. I'm obsessive about using my three dot bar backgrounder. So one of the extra steps I take to make the job easier is matting down the background before I use my bar backgrounder. It doesn't have to be a pretty job. It just needs to level the playing field, so to speak. That creates a superior dot bar backgrounder result. The first thing I do with my three dot bar backgrounder is outline the area I'm working on. Then I select a line I want to highlight and make that the baseline for each consecutive line of dots. That wraps up the floral carving section of these tutorials. Part 3 will be the finishing and assembly phase for making the barbecue rig holster.